I recently did a video about FreeBSD 14 and a, a quick look of it. I've, I've been running it for a week on my own box now. And I just wanted to share how my upgrade path went and any sort of caveats that I may have come across. So we'll take a look at that. So first things first, it's now the, the holiday season. So if you celebrate it, Merry Christmas, happy holidays to anybody else. So Star Wars Christmas t-shirt has come out. Must have been trouble. So FreeBSD 14, from what I can see, it seems to have quite a few performance enhancements which is great and to be honest most of those won't really come into play for my workload which is okay but primarily my FreeBSD box is a mail server it was running Maya mail guard which I thought was really good it, it gave you a nice pretty interface that you could manage your spam and it worked really well it's just that with the upgrades to FreeBSD 14, I've lost the, well, I haven't, but to keep things up to date, I've lost the ability to use PHP 7. I could still use it, but it's not supported, and that is not recommended use case. You really shouldn't be using an outdated version of PHP because there are probably vulnerabilities in it that would make your system very vulnerable to attack. Don't do that. It's, it's really not worth it. So I've gone with PHP 8.2. Everything else has been updated. I've had to change from Maya MailGuard to Amavisti New, which was a little bit of a fiddle. It got the job done and my virus and, and spam scanning on my email server is now back up and running. So that's good. That took about three hours worth of configuration with that I upgraded my MySQL server I was still running 5.7 which has been out of support for quite a while so it's now running MySQL 8 so I've got PHP 8.2 MySQL 8 I'm still running all the other bits that I was running so I've got Spam Assassin I'm not going to go into too many details because I don't really want to give anybody the, the, the opportunity to try and attack um, there is antivirus on there. I've got three antiviruses running. Overkill, maybe. Who knows? And this is all on my, my production box. It took three or four days to do the update from start to finish. There, there was the... Because I, I build all my updates from source. So I check out with Git. Make build world. Make build kernel. Make install world. Make install kernel, make install world. And I run through the, the ETC update, the whole lot. And I I like to stay on the stable branch. So I am now running FreeBSD 14 stable. And it looks good. It's good. Uh, it, it's running with no issues whatsoever. There were, as I say, a few caveats. Um, not major. It was just the, it was the upgrades from PHP which meant I had to change from Maya MailGuard. Obviously, with the update to FreeBSD 14, I had to update the, the boot code because I run ZFS. And in all honesty, I didn't come across anything that was an issue. It all went swimmingly. So, on my box, but you can see, 14 stable. And I've got to be honest, it, it looks really good like I said, there are performance upgrades. Not that I will notice them in, in this scenario. So at the moment, this has got a, a Poudry, Powdry, Blair. <laughs> However you want to say it, instance running. So it's building some ports for me, some packages. And uh, yeah, it's running really well, running really well. It did fall over at first when I first installed Amavis D new, 
and got that going. It, there was a database issue, but that's now resolved, I believe. And uh, there is there is my my Poodry building away, it's building my SQL server. No failures. So I'm I'm pretty happy with this overall. In fact, I'm very happy. The upgrade went pretty much how you would expect it. Did the update to the packages, uninstalled pretty much everything and reinstalled it all. It didn't reinstall everything, so I had to make sure I had a list. So it's always a good idea to just do a backup of what packages you've got installed. And output that to a text file so you can always reinstall them. Now, I have found that there are a few things that can't be installed with certain other things. For instance, um, I'm running Roundcube as my webmail. It's not my webmail of choice. I just haven't got around to reinstalling the one that I prefer. Um, and there's a Roundcube SA prefs, but that doesn't work with PHP 8.2. So I couldn't use that. My plan is to go back to using um, Horde and Imp. For anybody who doesn't know, that's a, a web framework with a, a web mail client. I used to use it all the time. I stopped using it for a little while because for some reason something went a bit strange with it. Anyway, I will get back to doing that and I'll probably do a video on, on setting that up. It's been a while since, since I even looked at it. In fact, I'm going to have a quick look at it now and see what... Have they changed the installer? Maybe they've changed the installer to pair and, and it's all pair. Anyway, so my... <laughs> My plan is to go back to it. Yeah, it's all installed with with Pear. I may actually try and download the latest from Git or wherever it comes from these days. This repository is deprecated. Well, that's interesting. No, 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 no. I'll have to look into that a bit more. Anyway, that's something to look at for another day, I think. Um, so anyway, my, my point is that my upgrade path on FreeBSD has, has gone really well. As I say, there were a few little hiccups, nothing that wasn't particularly hard to sort out. And most of that was my own fault, if I'm honest with you. Can't stress enough. Back up. Have a plan. You got those two. You'll be absolutely fine. It will go fine. If you don't have those two, you're going to struggle. So back up, plan. <laughs> back up, plan. There's not really much more I can say about it. As long as you've got your backups, go for it. Just make sure... You do it in the correct order. And I'll, I'll probably do a video on, on the right orders. But what's right for me might not necessarily be right for somebody else. Now, the way that I did it was I built and installed my Poodry Jail first so I could build all the packages. I then installed the OS from source, rebooted, did the boot code upgrade, did the Zpool update, Rebooted again to make sure that went fine. Updated all the ports, the packages, all of the packages. Reinstalled the ones that were missing. Rebooted again. Everything was lovely. Like I said, I had a few issues, mainly my own fault and and the issue with PHP 7 for my mail software of choice. But after that, all good. So I'm now running all the latest versions, latest release versions of everything that I need to be running, which is great. Bit of a ramble video. <clears throat> Bit of a happy holidays video. I'll see you in the next video. A lot of videos going on. Video, video, video. See you later.